back to my channel and today if you notice I am in the same clothing in a couple of my videos obviously I am having a proper recording session and this is really off there we are so I am in the I'm in the middle of doing a big recording session because obviously I don't know how much time I'm gonna have filming what the hell is going on with this camera there so if it's not wonky if it's wonky I do apologize but yeah this is my huge haul now I've got quite a bit of stuff so I don't know whether I am going to be splitting it into two I'm not 100% sure so needless to say I will say in the video if I am going to split it into two because I don't want to make this too long and you guys get bored and you get the gist but yeah like I said I got a haul now it's from literally everywhere because obviously I haven't been recording that much so there's couple of bits and bobs from eBay I'm still waiting on a few to come in so I will hold those at a later date there's Amazon there's Powerlands there's B not B&M Home Bargains there's Primark there's Asda's there's a little bit of Wilkinson's there's loads of things so needless to say I will probably put in the title of what it is anyway so I'm gonna do my eBay stuff first because I've only got two but I have got more stuff coming in so it might be added on to one of the videos or I might do a separate video altogether so hey you see next just in my background well hey there we go the first thing I did get and I'm gonna take my lipstick out of it at the moment now I know I think it was pretty things rock wanted to know about the lipstick holders and I said to her I had ordered mine and she asked me to let her know what it was like so it came packaged like this obviously it came with the thing and all that lot but I've chucked that away and then obviously as you open it up obviously it goes inside there now I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than what it was so don't let the camera fool you because obviously sometimes the camera can add a bit more dimension and all that lot to it but that's what it looks like right there now it is pretty small now this is a 24 one and it's about now my hands are not all that big so I'd say it's about the same size as my hands so but it's 24 holders and that's what it looks like I think I paid £2.84 for this but it does hold all different types of lipsticks so I've got my MUA one here which I'm gonna put in my makeup revolution ones ones so I've got a few of those so I'm going to chuck those in I can tend to keep my bottom up I've got the elf ones which is the these are like I think the old packaging but they go in here just fine so I've got two of those I've got the new um, elf moisturizing ones and they, these are in the newer packaging so they fit in here just fine if it it's like your um, lip balms the ones that are in the containers and they also store my essence um long lasting lip creams as well so yeah that's what that looks like right there obviously it's not displayed as i would like it to be displayed but yeah it holds it all anyway so yeah i mean it's i wouldn't say it's acrylic it's more plasticky sort of thing but it has got that acrylic sort of effect so yeah I will list it down below, Emmy, if you do want to pick one up or if anyone wants to pick one up for that matter. Anywho, next thing I got is I picked up some Real Techniques travelling size brushes. Now these are quite, I know they were going to be small, but I, I, as soon as I seen it, I thought this is bloody ridiculous. But I'll show you now. One I am actually used, I used it when I went shopping with, with my cousin Kaylee, which she was the bad influence in some of the stuff that I bought. I will tell her, tell you that right now. But look at the size on these. Now, come on. Let me put the rest of these down a minute. It is absolutely dinky. Now, this one is the mini face brush. And I'd say you could probably use this more... For like contouring and I'm not doing a good job of this. I'd use this more for like contouring because I've tried to use it as a face brush and it just I couldn't get on with it basically. So these two I haven't tried yet, but this I think would take me forever in a lifetime. I think it's good for like like I said when you're on the go for touch-ups and that, but far from that, no. 
this is the mini foundation brush now I having used one of these sort of um, foundation brushes in the wild because I tend to use my buffing brush but for more full coverage I would probably use this even though I have got the bigger one but it is a really soft guys it's stupid how soft it is so yeah I'll let you know how they wear and tear and I've also got this one as well and this is this is probably the smallest one you could probably see from here it is actually quite small so it's showing bigger on camera than what it does so don't let that fool you and this is the mini shader brush now I should imagine this would be good for like in your crease to get more precise application but yeah I picked up those and I also picked up a palette now I picked this up, I want to say, a while ago. This was before I did my break from YouTube. And it was quite funny because when I ordered mine, Nikki had already showed hers off on Instagram. It's like, bitch, beat me to it. So this is, I don't know if you guys are aware that W7 have got a new palette out again. And I think I've got all of them, to be honest with you, which is quite bad. Anyway, this is the W7 in the Night Palette, and these are the smoky shades, and the packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's showing blue on camera, but it is actually like a really dark purple. So, I will do a video on this, guys, if you want to see swatches and all that lot. But, I might do swatches to the side, it all depends how much time I get filming, because, like I said in previous videos, that time is at the essence with me at the moment i haven't got a lot of it it comes with the sponge applicator in the brush which i never use and for once my daughter hasn't actually got at this palette yet so but that's what they look like right there they are all gorgeous shades now the one i was gutted about was there's a shade in here called wonderland and and let me see if i can show you the back there we are there's the back and i'm not used to it and it's the second one right here it looks like a gorgeous shade but in the palette it doesn't seem all the pleasing so it's that one right there but like i said if i remember if i have got the time i will do swatches and all that lot but like i said it all depends times of uh, at the essence at the moment now quickly before i begin now i did have a giveaway going on which was in my um my purple smoky eye look and there is i have closed it now because obviously the entries were the 17th of october it was a hidden giveaway but obviously i will do the recording of who the winner actually is so i don't know when it's gonna go up guys but it will go up at some point so i do apologize for anybody that has commented on that video with the, like the secret giveaway so but don't worry guys I will mention it to you and obviously I will email the winner myself so yeah I got that and that was I believe this was £5.25 is the cheapest that I have found it so if the seller has still got it where I got mine from I will list her down below anyway I'm gonna go on to Amazon now these are quite big so needless to say I probably won't be able to lift the both of them up at once so and I did have a bit of a kerfuffle with them because they did mess me around with delivery but you will understand why now in a minute now I picked up these for my kids for Christmas and now these are quite heavy so you have to bear with me and originally I was only going to get my son one and then thinking about it and the way that my two are I thought eh, better get them both one each so I got them um, this is my first school and this is by Aussie bars now I have heard of this company on a few occasions so obviously this one is Owens he doesn't know that he's got this so it goes from three wheels to two which I find quite good as well so yeah I'm gonna have some fun trying to put this up on Christmas Day but that's what it looks like right there and these were they were on offer I think they were like £15.35 on Amazon I'm not 100% sure but yeah I did pick him up the green and 
blue one and obviously my daughter I did pick her up the pink and the yellow one and obviously it's exactly the same scooter but just in a different colour they, they were both the same price but the box that it came in it was absolutely massive now I've still got it in the corner right for here and later on when the cameras turned off I'll show you how big the actual box is it was absolutely massive but the day it was due to come none of my kids were here I thought brilliant and then it didn't turn up so I started to panic I rang Hermes up and they said oh we haven't received it yet bearing in mind they already said it was up for delivery but anywho you know me I've already had a kerfuffle with Hermes this year I'm not gonna go into too much depth about that but yeah I've got those now I'm gonna go on to the main bits that I did when I was shopping I did do a lot of damage and I mean a lot of damage so I'm going to quickly do this one first, get the big bulky stuff out of the way. I picked up two pillows. They were £7, as you can tell, by the big massive label. And these are the anti-allergic bounce back medium support. It's antibacterial, spring fibres, and it's clean and fresh bedding. So obviously I picked up two of these because... Now, as most of you guys know, Reese bought me pillows at the beginning of the summer. And needless to say, I've annihilated them. I don't know what the hell I do to my pillows. But it, it was flat as a pancake, and that was for and that was silent night, which is not cheap. So, yeah, don't ask me what I do with my pillows when I'm sleeping because I have no clue. But I'm gonna quickly go on to should I do clothing or should I do the candles? Sod it, we'll do the candles. We'll do the candles now, and then I'll stop this video then, and I'll edit it. And then I'll put this up then in a different haul and I'll continue it on. One I picked up and this is limited edition which I'm actually gutted about. This is from Glade and this is the Blackberry Frost. And as most of you guys know I'm a sucker for candles and my cousin Kaylee when we went shopping had influence on me basically because I've got a crap load of candles. It's stupid but... This guy's just smells so fresh and so wintry. It's daft, it's like frosted berries. But I'm so gutted this is limited edition. And in you can get it in Asda's or you can get it in Wilco's. In Wilco's I got mine and this was usually they're about five pound. I got it for one pound seventy five, which was a bargain. I don't know why I didn't stack up on these to be honest with you, but yeah, that smells gorgeous. This one from Pound Shop, I believe. And this is the one that I know Stacey Higgins was eyeing, eyeing up as well. And this is the Chewett's Black Currant scented candle. And this is in Black Currant. Sorry about the glare, guys, because the lighting is shocking in Wales today. So I am trying to make the best of the situation. But to me, now this does smell like Black Currant Chewett's. But obviously, it being the pound shop, sometimes the candles are not the best. But. Like I said, I will give it a go, but I'm not a snob when it comes to candles, but usually I like the ones that give off the biggest payoff, like you, like you walk into a room and it's like bang right in your face. So yeah, I really like that. So I don't know what that's going to smell like. So I do let you know, but uh, like I said, my now I bought some more of these. Now Reese bought me some of these at the beginning of the summer and needless to say, I have about six left out of 40. Now Wilco's are, I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video that some of the Wilco's candles are 40% off. The, the scented, unscented tea lights are also in that offer. So needless to say, I stacked up good and proper. These are the 100 unscented tea lights. And I'm not sure the price on these because I did have the receipt and I don't know where they've gone. So yeah, I picked up those. I also picked up these as well because the little ones were annoying me a little bit when they only got like 3.5 hours of burns. And sometimes I keep my waxes going for hours so I got this one and this is the 15 maxi tea lights and these are the really big ones as, as you can see they are the proper big ones and this 14 well 15 in year and the burn time on these is nine hours so I'm gonna see how I do with those I got you might have seen this in my birthday video that I did say me and Reese was in love with the frosted spruce. Well, dropping things on the ground. So, but we went a bit.
bit bonkers. Needless to say, I've got a shitload of candles. I don't think I'm going to need any more for a long time. But needless to say, who's going to stop me from buying any more? But anyway, these two I bought for Reese. And they are the frosted spruce candles. Now, these are the ones I said smell mega fresh. They smell gorgeous. I, I just wish I could just shove these up my nostrils. But they smell absolutely gorgeous. So... Yeah, I really like those. No, I'm dropping things again. What's wrong with me? And as most of you guys know, I'm a wax sort of girl. That doesn't sound the best, but I am a tarts girl. That doesn't sound the best neither. But anywho, I got the Simply Yankee and I got the Frosted Spruce in two as well. So I'm going to be burning this tonight. Now I've hauled it so I can burn the crap out of it. So that is all the candles that I bought. So... There is going to be a part two, so now I'm going to stop this now, and obviously I'll carry on recording the next one, and you'll probably see that one then another day. So I hope you guys do enjoy it, and look out for me on social media, which I will list down below. I've also got Twitter, Instagram, my business page on Facebook as well, and I think I've got Pinterest as well, so needless to say... I'm pretty much almost all over the place. So hit that subscribe button as well, guys. Keep up to date with all my videos. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next in the, the next bit of my haul. So bye, guys. Please welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be doing like a mini sort of review on some of the candles that I have burnt. Now, 